kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia-only forecast through until Thursday of next week and your seven-day rainfall outlook. It's a busy weather map today. We've got another video all about severe tropical cyclone. You'll find that on our YouTube page at Weather Watch TV. Uh, but this video is not quite so much about that storm. We'll briefly mention it, but really we're talking about all the other places outside of that. And to be honest with you, the main feature is down here in the Southern Ocean. The big high south of Western Australia and the low pressure system south of Adelaide. And those two are dredging up this big southerly going all the way up into uh, the central parts of Australia, up into the Northern Territory even. So that means after one more hot day today, for many of you, some of you still getting up to that 40 degree mark, you're gonna notice what I will call more than a refreshing change coming through for many of you. Now, coastal areas will feel it the most in the days ahead, but even inland areas are seeing temperatures dropping, many of you getting back to the 20s after being up around the late 30s or even into the 40s lately. Of course, for northern areas, no change in the temperatures, still very hot and humid, and we've still got large, lazy, low pressure systems hanging around the Coral Sea. And of course, severe tropical cyclone Zelia, category four when we recorded this, Cat 5 is expected when it makes landfall on Friday somewhere, we think around Port Hedland. But we're going to have more information with another video about that out tomorrow Friday as well as today's one. So let's move through to the forecast. Here we are on Friday into the afternoon, high pressure parked just south of Western Australia. That is bringing in a bit of a slightly cooler change, but not necessarily. It still could be quite hot for many of you around there. In fact, Perth, you're heading up to the mid-30s as we go into Saturday, uh, just before this all sort of moves on through. But you can see the southerly change all the way along the southern coastline, coming into Victoria as well. And heads up, Tasmania, um, it's going to feel like autumn this weekend. Temperatures are plummeting to maximum temperatures of maybe only 14 or 15 degrees for some of you as that cooler change comes on through. And of course, hot, and cool makes severe thunderstorms. So we're gonna be seeing another burst of thunderstorms moving through parts of Victoria, the ACT, and New South Wales, bringing some very welcome rain, although severe thunderstorm can be too much of a good thing sometimes. And a small area of low pressure hangs around the border of Queensland and New South Wales. That's helping to fuel some of that low pressure all across there, and that's why you're getting some of those severe thunderstorms also up around Queensland, and of course, far north Queensland. Going into Saturday now, so the cyclone moves further inland, very heavy rain, flash flood warnings for many parts of the Pilbara and possibly the Gascoigne region as well as that moves in. But look at the southerly over here. That is the main feature outside of the cyclone on Saturday. This big southerly blasting its way through, strong southerly winds, temperatures down Hobart, maximum of maybe 14. You might get to 15 or 16 if the sun comes out, but pretty showery day for you. And we've still got some thunderstorms, maybe severe, moving up along the eastern side there, mostly in coastal areas and around the hills. But uh, certainly New South Wales still seeing more of those severe thunderstorms and they carry on right through into Queensland, low pressure basically hugging the eastern side of Queensland. In fact, really you could say it's pretty much all over Queensland because there's also this weak area of low pressure in the Northern Territory. So this is all pretty much low pressure for the top half of Australia. As Cyclone Zelia moves southwards, low pressure around Alice Springs making thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms further up around Catherine as well. Darwin perhaps not looking quite so bad on Saturday. Now to Sunday, all right, so the southerly is fading out around the southeastern corner. High pressure south of Adelaide moving in. Southerlies carry on for Victoria, much of Victoria I should say, but mostly down towards the coast. The further northward you go, the drier it is. Um, sorry to say there is not much rain coming for that western half of Victoria. Not much rain coming for South Australia. In many places, zero coming uh, as rainfall totals. So it's not the drought breaker that you need, not yet but we still see some pockets of relief over here in that southeastern side. And the southerly still blowing across Tasmania as we kick off Sunday and go through Sunday and a few severe thunderstorms around the north of Queensland and coastal areas north of Rockhampton. Now those thunderstorms kind of fade out as we kick off next week. The cooler, drier air, and I say cooler very loosely, I mean, I'm talking that in Australian terms, that it's not 40 degrees now, it may be 28. Um, so that's what I mean by that. Some of the coastal areas will be significantly cooler though, uh, getting that breeze straight off the sea, but the showers fade away, and most of that thunderstorm weather goes out to sea over the Tasman. Still could be a couple around uh, Mackay up to Townsville, and the usual kind of severe thunderstorms you get up there in the far north. 
Uh, the, the top end has also got the risk of severe thunderstorms increasing as we kick off next week. Darwin, keep an eye on that. But Western Australia dealing with the remnants of Zelia producing thunderstorms and they'll be moving further down towards Kalgoorlie as we go through the day. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, pushing down right to the southern coastline of Western Australia. Not often you see a cyclone do that, straight down the middle of Western Australia from uh, bringing rain from one end to the other. That is what we're likely to see, but there is no storm behind uh, anymore. It is just a bit of low pressure, kind of normal low pressure, but with a bit more tropical energy in it. That means the red line is being dragged back southwards again. So the heat starts to lift back up again next week, maybe still cool around parts of Tasmania and some of these coastal areas south of Brisbane, not as hot and humid as a result of the airflow coming from a southerly curving it around. Sorry, I'm not talking too much about the islands, but uh, you know, not a massive amount of rain falling for Lord Howe or Norfolk Island, a few showers in there, but there are these low pressure systems passing by. You might get a thunderstorm. So by Wednesday, pretty calm across a large portion of Australia, but we've got showery weather, northeasterlies. It's not overly cold for you down there in the southwest. Severe thunderstorms around Queensland, and they could form all the way inland around Charleville down towards inland parts of New South Wales. Doesn't look too big based on that map there. That's 24 hours of rainfall. So you might get all the big cloud buildups, a few spits of rain, a couple of rumbles of thunder, but it may not be anything too big as far as rainfall is concerned. And that easterly wind starts to pick up again around Victoria, South Australia, putting a bit more of a breeze in there. And at the other end, we've got severe thunderstorms basically around Darwin to Broome, although Broome, once again, in your rain shadow. I've learned that a lot doing these videos. Someone told me about that from Broome. Broome often misses out on rain. Seeing that again with the cyclone, most of the rain missing you as well. Thursday of next week, our final map, big picture here, shows a lot of tropical energy all the way from French Polynesia. You're basically going over towards halfway to um, South America. You've got all that low pressure stretching right across the top of Australia, bringing your monsoon rains, although off and on. It's not as uh, widespread as it could be and more low pressure out here, still got the cyclone Talia sitting out at sea. So it's quite a busy map, but the high pressure zone here is the main feature. Windy again with those easterlies blowing all the way from Victoria to Western Australia and more thunderstorms bubbling up. Although again, it doesn't necessarily look as widespread as it could be for this time of the year. So let's have a look at that rainfall in a quick animation. And you can see the cyclone dropping southwards with all that wet weather. Most of the wet weather activity is in the next few days. Once we get into next week, it's not as busy other than the tropics right up the very north here. Otherwise, not a lot going on. And it's painful to see how dry, you know, Victoria uh, west of Melbourne is. It is very dry for you. Obviously, South Australia, very dry for you too. There is no rain relief yet in sight for those areas. Um, hopefully, we can start bringing you some good news soon. Here's our place of the day this week on Flightsim. It is Port Hedland. I think I've done Port Hedland before, but it seems more relevant to cover it today. So look how low lying it is. The cyclone moving straight in. This is looking southwards. So the storm is coming in from the north. If it comes directly into this area, storm surge in places like this, where the sea comes up at the middle of the storm, lots of problems could be as a result of that. And then inland communities, you might have problems where storm surge backs up the estuaries and so rivers back up. A lot of low-lying area around this part of Western Australia, so those rivers can easily block. And remember that rain falling inland could be flooding rivers even though it's not raining where you are. So we're wishing you all the best in Port Hedland. We have another special video about uh, the cyclone tomorrow morning. It'll be out by about eight o'clock in the morning, Western Australia time. So join us for that if you're interested. Otherwise, we'll see you all again on Monday of next week. Have a great weekend. <music>